Megan, prior to the five-and-a-half-hour standoff, Baltimore police were very aware of 23-year-old Corinne Gaines. Back in March, they pulled her over with her kids for not having a car license plate. Instead of the plate, there was a cardboard sign warning government officials not to stop her. And when police did, it quickly got confrontational. And Corinne Gaines videotaped it and posted parts of it on Instagram. Watch. You won't. You I'll be, listen, Honestly, I'm listen, you you a chance to do what? To get out of your car with your children. Sir, you're trying to steal my car. When you put your hands on me, I promise you, you will, you will okay, have to murder to me. You right. will have to murder me. So go ahead and get ready to do that. Gaines was finally arrested and given a court date. When she failed to appear, Baltimore police went to her home to serve a bench warrant. Police say they could hear the man inside talking with her, but nobody came to the door, so they got a key from the manager, opened the door, and found Gaines sitting on the floor with a shotgun. Police backed away, and the barricade began. A short time later, the man inside ran out with a one-year-old baby and was arrested. Gaines stayed in the home with her five-year-old son. Police negotiators brought in her parents and a psychologist saying they made every effort to get the woman to surrender. All the while, Gaines was posting on social media, and her followers were encouraging her not to surrender. Police filed a request with Facebook and Instagram to disable her account, but it took more than an hour. And this is the final Instagram post. Watch again. What's happening right now? Who's outside? And what are they trying to do? It's charging. What are they trying to do? Police say when Gaines again pointed her shotgun at officers through the door, it prompted the exchange of gunfire. One shot by police, two shots from inside the apartment, three more shots by police. Corinne Gaines was killed. Her five-year-old son hit in the arm. It remains unclear if the boy was hit by police gunfire or by his mother's. The boy is listed in good condition tonight.